It's the dawn of a new era at the southern border with the end of Title 42. Tens of thousands of migrants now getting the green light to cross into the U.S. without restrictions that had been in place for three years. Now, communities both near and far from the border are declaring states of emergency. Bill Malusian, live in Brownsville, Texas. How does it look this morning, Bill? Well, Dana, I can tell you we were out here at midnight as Title 42 finally expired, though we never saw a large rush of migrants. Now it's daylight and we are waiting to see what the day brings. Take a look at this video last night. We were with a group of four Republican senators as they received a tour of the area here in Brownsville from the Border Patrol Union. They took us down to the main crossing area where we have seen thousands of people crossing in recent days. That area has now effectively been sealed off by the Texas National Guard with all sorts of razor wire. And we were with all of these senators as Title 42 dropped at midnight again, we did not see a huge expected rush. What we did see uh, was all the migrant camps across the river with all the migrants in them with campfires going and music playing from across the river. Here's what Senator Ted Cruz had to tell me. There are 22,000 illegal immigrants right on the other side of Matamoros. They have fires going, they've had music going, they're partying because in a couple of hours, Title 42 is ending and all 22,000 are going to invade this country. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the last mile of the human trafficking network and take them to every city in America. Now, again, that huge predicted rush has not yet materialized, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen at some point. There are still migrants, thousands of them in Mexico uh, who have been gathering there. This is what we saw last night. We sent a photographer over to Matamoros. Migrants looked like they wanted to cross, but this is what they saw across the river. Texas National Guard barbed wire. They're on a megaphone telling them not to cross. We saw one guy get in the water and make an attempt, but it was essentially a standoff all night. You see one guy finally makes it over, but Texas has taken a new posture. They are blocking people and they are not letting people in and the migrants were chanting and uh, again we just did not see a large rush last night uh, but there is a possibility it's going to happen here's why take a look at this last piece of video migrant shelters across Mexican border cities are still completely at capacity with migrants who have shown up there are tens of thousands of migrants in Mexico border cities who are still waiting they're essentially in a, a holding pattern right now title 42 is gone and now it appears these migrants are waiting deciding what they want to do next. So we're just going to be keeping an eye out on that and back out here live. A major decision taking place last night. Late last night, a federal judge in Florida blocked the Biden administration from being able to do their mass parole releases of migrants. A parole release means they do not get a court date. They are instead asked to turn themselves into ice within 60 days. The Biden administration had argued in court and said we need this policy. If we can't have it, we're going to have 45,000 people in custody by the end of the month. Disease could spread because of overcapacity issues and there would be, quote, catastrophic consequences. Well, the federal judge came back and said, nope, you can't do it. This is largely a problem of your own making. We'll send it back to you. Bill, can we ask you yesterday, Secretary Mayorka said something that he has said repeatedly, but it took on, I think, a, a additional significance as he said it yesterday. Listen here. I want to be very clear. Our borders are not open. People who cross our border unlawfully and without a legal basis to remain will be pr promptly processed and removed. How do the cartels listen to a message like that? Like, how do they react? Well, look, they, they, what they tell the migrants is if you get here, you have a very good chance of being released. And when Secretary Mayorkas says that if you cross illegally, you will be processed and quickly removed, you have to put an asterisk next to that. That is the case for some people. But right now, a, a majority of people are released into the country. What happens is because they're so over capacity and because of diplomatic relations with different countries, once people get here, they're typically released with an NTA, a future court date. And because of how backlogged everything Thing is that court date can be years down the road and the cartels are able to advertise off of that. The migrants know that they they told us that in interviews that if they can just get here, they believe they are going to be released. And if you just walk to downtown Brownsville right now, you'll go to the bus station and you will see Venezuelan men with their NTAs and their DHS packets and their government cell phones all over the place waiting to get on a bus to go elsewhere around the country. Mass releases are taking place yeah. and it is part of the Biden administration's you policy. You are several hundred miles away from Yuma, Arizona. They did it yesterday for the first time in two years in that town. Now, in Brownsville, where you're located, 
That, that's where they put the concertina wire up this week. That's where Governor Abbott ordered a lot of other uh, officers to uh, respond along that river. Uh, it, it seemed to have stopped some of that flow. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, they've essentially plugged it up. Uh, the first few days I was here this week, I mean, you guys saw the drone images we were putting up. It was a free-for-all down here at this spot. Lines of several hundred people just crossing at will with zero resistance whatsoever. Then a couple of days ago, that specialized Texas National Guard response force showed up with riot gear and all sorts of razor wire, and they changed their posture. They are blocking people from entering now. We'd never seen them do that before. And these migrants are coming across expecting to be let in, and instead they're greeted by rows of razor wire and troopers standing there with their arms crossed saying, no, you're not coming in. So now they're likely going to have to try to find another area to cross and those cartels and smuggling organizations are going to have to take a minute to figure out how, mm. how, how to approach this. Are they going to find somewhere else to go? Texas only has a limited amount of resources, but it just goes to show the difference in posture between the state of Texas actively blocking people and the federal government, which sent troops down here essentially to do paperwork. Wow, it's it very you. interesting. Mm -hmm. Bill Malusian, I'm sure yeah. we'll see you more this afternoon. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.